Alphavirus, Wikipedia article audio. In biology and immunology, an alphavirus belongs to the group 4 Togaviridae family of viruses, according to the system of classification based on viral genome composition introduced by David Baltimore in 1971. Alphaviruses, like all other group 4 viruses, have a positive sense, single-stranded RNA genome. There are 30 alphaviruses able to infect various vertebrates such as humans, rodents, fish, birds and larger mammals such as horses as well as invertebrates. Transmission between species and individuals occurs mainly via mosquitoes making the alphaviruses a contributor to the collection of arboviruses or arthropod-borne viruses. Alphavirus particles are enveloped, have a 70 nm diameter, tend to be spherical, and have a 40 nm isometric nucleocapsid. The alphaviruses are small, spherical, enveloped viruses with a genome of a single positive sense strand RNA. The total genome length ranges between 11,000 and 12,000 nucleotides, and has a 5 cap and 3 poly A tail. The four non-structural protein genes are encoded in the 5 two-thirds of the genome, while the three structural proteins are translated from a subgenomic mRNA collinear with the 3 one-third of the genome. Genome Structural proteins There are two open reading frames in the genome, non-structural and structural. The first is non-structural and encodes proteins necessary for transcription and replication of viral RNA. The second encodes three structural proteins, the core nucleocapsid protein C, and the envelope proteins P62 and E1 that associate as a heterodimer. The viral membrane-anchored surface glycoproteins are responsible for receptor recognition and entry into target cells through membrane fusion. The proteolytic maturation of P62 into E2 and E3 causes a change in the viral surface. Together the E1, E2, and sometimes E3, glycoprotein spikes form an E1-E2 dimer or an E1-E2-E3 trimer, where E2 extends from the center to the vertices, E1 fills the space between the vertices, and E3, if present, is at the distal end of the spike. Upon exposure of the virus to the acidity of the endosome, E1 dissociates from E2 to form an E1 homotrimer, which is necessary for the fusion step to drive the cellular and viral membranes together. The alpha-viral glycoprotein E1 is a class II viral fusion protein, which is structurally different from the class I fusion proteins found in influenza virus and HIV. The structure of the Semliki forest virus revealed a structure that is similar to that of flaviviral glycoprotein E with three structural domains in the same primary sequence arrangement. The E2 glycoprotein functions to interact with the nucleocapsid through its cytoplasmic domain, while its ectodomain is responsible for binding a cellular receptor. Most alphaviruses lose the peripheral protein E3, but in semliki viruses it remains associated with the viral surface. Four non-structural proteins which are produced as a single polyprotein constitute the virus replication machinery. The processing of the polyprotein occurs in a highly regulated manner, with cleavage at the P2-3 junction influencing RNA template use during genome replication. This site is located at the base of a narrow cleft and is not readily accessible. Once cleaved NSP3 creates a ring structure that encircles NSP2. These two proteins have an extensive interface. Mutations in NSP2 that produce non-cytopathic viruses or a temperature-sensitive phenotypes cluster at the P2-P3 interface region. 
P3 mutations opposite the location of the NSP2 non-cytopathic mutations prevent efficient cleavage of P2-3. This in turn affects RNA infectivity altering viral RNA production levels. The nucleocapsid, 40 nm in diameter, contains 240 copies of the capsid protein and has a T equals 4 icosahedral symmetry. The E1 and E2 viral glycoproteins are embedded in the lipid bilayer. Single E1 and E2 molecules associate to form heterodimers. The E1-E2 heterodimers form one-to-one -one contacts between the E2 protein and the nucleocapsid monomers. Non-structural proteins Replication occurs within the cytoplasm, and virions mature by budding through the plasma membrane where virus-encoded surface glycoproteins E2 and E1 are assimilated. These two glycoproteins are the targets of numerous serologic reactions and tests including neutralization and hemagglutination inhibition. The alpha viruses show various degrees of antigenic cross-reactivity in these reactions and this forms the basis for the seven antigenic complexes, 30 species, and many subtypes and varieties. The E2 protein is the site of most neutralizing epitopes, while the E1 protein contains more conserved, cross-reactive epitopes. Virology a study of this taxon suggests that this group of viruses had a marine origin specifically the Southern Ocean and that they have subsequently spread to both the Old and New World. There are three subgroups in this genus, the Semliki forest virus subgroup, the Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus subgroup and the Sindbis virus subgroup. Sindbis virus, geographically restricted to the Old World, is more closely related to the Eastern Equine Encephalitis subgroup, which are New World viruses, than it is to the Semliki Forest virus subgroup which is also found in the Old World. Group, SSRNA Evolution Taxonomy The seven complexes are Notes Barma forest virus is related to the Semliki forest virus. Mid-Elberg virus, although classified as a separate complex, may be a member of the Semliki forest virus group. It seems likely that the genus evolved in the old world from an insect-borne plant virus. Pathogenesis and immune response Sindbis virus may have originated in South America. The equine encephalitis viruses and Sindbis viruses are related. The Old World and New World viruses appears to have diverged between 2000 and 3000 years ago. Divergence between the Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus and the Eastern equine virus appears to have been 1400 years ago. The fish infecting clade appears to be basal to the other species. The southern elephant seal virus appears to be related to the Sinbis clade. There are many alpha viruses distributed around the world with the ability to cause human disease. Infectious arthritis, encephalitis, rashes, and fever are the most commonly observed symptoms. Larger mammals such as humans and horses are usually dead end hosts or play a minor role in viral transmission, however, in the case of Venezuelan equine encephalitis the virus is mainly amplified in horses. In most other cases the virus is maintained in nature in mosquitoes, rodents, and birds. Diagnosis, Prevention, and Control Alpha virus infections are spread by insect vectors such as mosquitoes. Once a human is bitten by the infected mosquito, the virus can gain entry into the bloodstream, causing viremia. The alpha virus can also get into the CNS where it is able to grow and multiply within the neurons. This can lead to encephalitis, 
which can be fatal. Research When an individual is infected with this particular virus, its immune system can play a role in clearing away the virus particles. Alpha viruses are able to cause the production of interferons. Antibodies and T cells are also involved. The neutralizing antibodies also play an important role to prevent further infection and spread. Diagnosis is based on clinical samples from which the virus can be easily isolated and identified. There are no alpha virus vaccines currently available. Vector control with repellents, protective clothing, breeding site destruction, and spraying are the preventive measures of choice. Alpha viruses are of interest to gene therapy researchers, in particular the Ross River virus, Sindbis virus, Semliki forest virus, and Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus have all been used to develop viral vectors for gene delivery. Of particular interest are the chimeric viruses that may be formed with alpha viral envelopes and retroviral capsids. Such chimeras are termed pseudotyped viruses. Alpha viral envelope pseudotypes of retroviruses or lentiviruses are able to integrate the genes that they carry into the expansive range of potential host cells that are recognized and infected by the alpha viral envelope proteins E2 and E1. The stable integration of viral genes is mediated by the retroviral interiors of these vectors. There are limitations to the use of alpha viruses in the field of gene therapy due to their lack of targeting, however, through the introduction of variable antibody domains in a non-conserved loop in the structure of E2, specific populations of cells have been targeted. Furthermore, the use of whole alpha viruses for gene therapy is of limited efficacy both because several internal alpha viral proteins are involved in the induction of apoptosis upon infection and also because the alpha viral capsid mediates only the transient introduction of mRNA into host cells. Neither of these limitations extend to alpha viral envelope pseudotypes of retroviruses or lentiviruses. However, the expression of Sindbis virus envelopes may lead to apoptosis, and their introduction into host cells upon infection by Sindbis virus envelope pseudotyped retroviruses may also lead to cell death. The toxicity of Sindbis viral envelopes may be the cause of the very low production titers realized from packaging cells constructed to produce Sindbis pseudotypes. Another branch of research involving alpha viruses is in vaccination. Alpha viruses are apt to be engineered to create replicant vectors which efficiently induce humoral and T cell immune responses. They could therefore be used to vaccinate against viral, bacterial, protozoan, and tumor antigens. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFAM and Interpro IPR 000936. Sources This article incorporates text from the public domain PFAM and Interpro IPR 002533. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFAM and Interpro IPR 002548.